the earth feels as if it's waking in spring's rebirth. In the shifting light and sprouting blooms, we see nature's fluent circularity. We see that everything returns, and we move to this silent language of trust. We hold the earth, and in return, the earth holds us. Julia's art often explores themes of connection. Today, she is starting a massive portrait of me beneath a huge rainforest tree. Each stroke seems to uncover a new world. I love watching her process and seeing these enchanting portraits come to life. Julia once told me the secret to her art practice. She said that it is as simple as pausing to notice the details around you. Seeing the seasons change, the light shift, and the colours blend. She said that when you pause, you notice the complexity of life happening all around you. The bees pollinate the first of spring's blooms. The flowers of summer's coming fruit set in the sunshine. The days lengthen and these details are like brushstrokes on canvas. They meld to create a whole, circular in its entirety. And I think that this practice of creating and noticing this beauty is one of the best ways we can learn to connect with Earth. As the seasons return, or we watch the way that nature interacts, we see circularity everywhere. From nature, we are learning that we aren't separate to these cycles, that we must act the same, always returning what we are given. To care for the earth is to care for ourselves. Julia's paintings always explore what it means to be held by the earth. This reciprocity of tending for the land and that care being returned to us. I let the landscape whisper to me. The landscape that holds me in her arms. She tells me that I am the mountain. Sit still and strong and let the seasons pass over me. To watch twelve moons rise over my ridges and evolve with their cycles. She tells me that I am a rainforest. I am delicate and strong. To see vines and snakes entwined in wholeness, shaped by growth and decay, summer and winter, life and death. She tells me that I am a stream, and I will move on. I will flow and change, burst my banks and run dry, but I will always return. This is actually a poem that I wrote for our book, which is alongside many other poems with matching drawings. Julia's paintings are throughout the pages too, 
alongside so many unseen paintings that we can't wait to share with you. You can follow the link in our description to pre-order it now. In the garden, circularity is so obvious. The sunflower's deadhead drops its seeds for next season's blooms. The chicks, even when they are only a few days old, learn to work within these systems. They eat bugs, turn the dirt, and fertilize the soil with their droppings. As they are at my feet, they remind me that I too am part of this circularity. I plant, pull weeds, tend the soil, and are fed from its abundance. Baby, you're gonna be a daddy. I really want to be the cool auntie like I am to my best friend. Our goal for life is to know exactly where our food comes from, so each day we're trying a little more to rely off the land. We harvested this jackfruit last week and began the long process of getting the unripe flesh ready for eating. 
I think that food is the simplest way for us to connect with nature. In a modern world, it's easy to forget that each thing that we eat was grown somewhere. The world is becoming so much more disconnected from our food, and it's important to remember the incredible process of growth that occurred for our meal to sit in front of us. For this meal, we watched the process right in front of our eyes. We've been checking on this jackfruit all year, seeing it slowly grow. We saw each of the rains that fed it and understood the energy of the tree creating this fruit. Local or homegrown food is expensive and isn't accessible to everyone, but I think that something we can all do is just appreciate food. Each meal becomes a bit of a celebration for us. We love combining flavours, tasting new things, and creating new meals. I think that this joy extends our connection to our food, though. It acknowledges the incredible thing that it is to grow something, and we truly celebrate it. Food has become an art for us. I'm always so excited to test new flavours and share a meal around the fire with our friends. Yesterday, this painting just flowed like magic. Sometimes my most favourite pieces kind of have this special flow where the strokes just all meld together and form these beautiful blocks of colour. And I think I really achieved that with this one, which is really special. It's kind of, I think, the way that there's these big patches of light and dark and you can't tell that it's all strokes, but at the same time it's like really just loose fluid brush strokes. I think it's really special, so I'm so excited to see where I take it. I have this sketch that's quite complex, but in some ways I'm thinking of changing the background and just keeping it really simple and just focusing on the idea of Anastasia and the tree just kind of melding into one kind of circular movement and doing really fluid, loose strokes and not too much detail. So I'm going to challenge myself to do that.
This painting is in our book. You can pre-order it now and discover the many detailed artworks that fill its pages. Julia has always wanted to spread her pieces around the world, so each paint stroke feels so meaningful shared on these pages. You can follow the link in our description for more. The music in this video is by Maple Glider. You can find her links in our description too. And thanks so much to our patrons for your support always.